If you found a golden ticket, would you rip it up or would you use it? The author, Roald Dahl, did not have a golden ticket. In 1986, he wrote an open letter. He said, Olivia, my eldest daughter, caught measles when she was seven years old. As the illness took its usual course, I can remember reading to her often in bed and not feeling particularly alarmed about it. Then one morning, when she was well on the road to recovery, I was sitting on her bed showing her how to fashion little animals out of colored pipe cleaners. And when it came to her turn to make one herself, I noticed that her fingers and her mind were not working together and she couldn't do anything. Are you feeling all right? I asked her. I feel all sleepy, she said. In an hour, she was unconscious. In 12 hours, she was dead. The measles had turned into a terrible thing called measles encephalitis. That was 24 years ago in 1962. But even now, if a child with measles happens to develop the same deadly reaction, there would still be nothing the doctors could do to help her. On the other hand, there is today something that parents can do to make sure that this sort of tragedy does not happen to a child of theirs. They can insist that their child is immunized against measles. I was unable to do that for Olivia in 1962 because in those days a reliable measles vaccine had not been discovered. Today, a good and safe vaccine is available to every family and all you have to do is to ask your doctor to administer it. Roald Dahl did not have a golden ticket, but you do. It is called the MMR vaccine. Please immunize your child with the MMR vaccination. You could be saving their life.